The brawl occurred during Cat's Saturday night performance at Indiana Farmers Coliseum in Indianapolis, Indiana. Video taken during the show captured a fight breaking out in the stands partway through Cat's set, bringing the night's event to a grinding halt. In the clip, a man using a flashlight, who is assumed to be security, was shown sprinting toward the section where the fight was taking place as onlookers shouted from below. Show attendees could be heard yelling, turn the light on, as the comedy fans near the fight were shown rushing for the exit. Cat, 52, didn't find anything funny about the scuffle and remained silent as security broke up the fight. The fight had already concluded by the time the auditorium lights had been switched on, though the effects of the brawl were apparent. One man's face was covered in what appeared to be blood as reported by TMZ. The night, which was supposed to be filled with laughs, was sadly cut short as the venue was evacuated after the fight, much to the disappointment of the comedy show attendees. While Cat hasn't spoken about the incident, earlier this year, the Wild and Out star went viral for all the things he did say. The comedian caused an uproar after his candid conversation on the Club Shay Shay YouTube show with Shannon Sharp. On January 3, 2024, Cat called out multiple high-profile comedians during his podcast appearance. He also claimed that in his first movie role, Friday After Next, he suggested to the writers to remove a rape scene involving his character, Money Mike, from the script. Cat told Shannon, the truth of the matter is, the Money Mike in the original script gets raped in the bathroom, and that's what Ricky Smiley was okay with. The problem with Friday After Next is, we're trying to make a classic comedy, and this comedy involves a rape, and rape is never funny, no matter who it happens to or what the circumstances are. During the three-hour interview, Williams took shots at a handful of celebs besides Ricky Smiley, including Steve Harvey, Kevin Hart, and Cedric the Entertainer. The comedian blasted the Family Feud host as he accused Steve of stealing material from Mark Curry. He also claimed Steve couldn't be a movie star. Cat joked. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asked for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good and looks like Mr. Potato Head. Williams accused Cedric the Entertainer, with whom he has feuded with for decades, of stealing one of his best jokes for the Kings of Comedy Tour in the 90s. The Boondocks actor claimed that Cedric watched Williams' best joke on Comic View in the audience and told him how much he loved it backstage. Two years later, he's doing that as his last joke on the Kings of Comedy and he's doing it verbatim, he just changed my car into a spaceship," Cat asserted. The Emmy Award winner accused Kevin Hart of being an industry plant. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold-out Kevin Hart show, Williams told the first take commentator. Or there being a line for him or him ever getting a standing ovation at any comedy club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian who came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A., had his first sitcom on network television or had his own movie he was leading? Cat also addressed his back and forth with former radio host Wanda Smith that went viral in 2018 after he appeared on her show. The actor blasted Wanda for calling him gay as a derogatory term. This lady is trying to embarrass me in front of a largely homosexual fan base, that's why she got cancelled. Cat also brought up a story about La Morris Sellers, Wanda's spouse, reportedly threatening the comedian with a gun in retaliation. Tried to kill me, not with jokes. With a real gun in my face on real camera. And the world was okay with it because it was me. Williams also denied Ricky Smiley had his Friday after next role. Both comedians starred in the 2002 dramedy, with Cat playing the character of Money Mike and Smiley in the role of Santa Claus. Rickley had previously told Sharp he originally cast to portray the role of Money Mike. Cat stated, We auditioned in Los Angeles. I was audition number 201. 200 black comedians auditioned for the role of Money Mike with me. You're saying all 201 of us was auditioning, and you had already had the role and had already shot the role in four days? He also claimed he drafted a contract that ensured Ricky was to wear a dress the next time they appeared in a film together. The pair both starred in 2008's First Sunday where Ricky appeared as his female alter ego Bernice Jenkins. Williams talked about turning down demands in return for opportunities. He claimed that Harvey Weinstein, the infamous film mogul and convicted sex offender, once offered him oral sex, but he declined the offer. 
they cancelled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out. But he offered to suck my penis in front of all my people at my agency, he said. Williams also claimed that Chris Tucker was connected to Jeffrey Epstein, a U.S. financier and sex offender. Chris Tucker we got now is Epstein Island Chris Tucker, he added. No one was safe from the bombshell accusations as Williams declared that Ludacris joined the Illuminati to secure his Fast Furious movie franchise deal. We were both invited to an Illuminati thing and it had to be one or the other of us and decisions had to be made, said the comedian. But Cat had good things to say about Ice Cube and defended the rapper turned actor from being bashed for underpaying his actors, calling them ungrateful. What you mean an independent black dude who's filming it partly out of his pocket didn't pay you enough? He said. Cat stated that he wanted to set the record straight and refute lies said about him. I'm just too big to comment or make a statement about it, or do a live or any of that. But when it gets to be a whole grouping of these guys, I have to come and talk to Shannon, he said. William also opened up about his difficult upbringing including the time he was homeless at the age of 13 as well as his financial struggles when he started his comedic career.